Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It's good to be back. Uh, we're going to get into an interesting one today. Uh, I didn't even know what was happening until I took the odds. and I, I, I've watched the tape now. Uh, Luca Plantic versus Jack Cullen. Uh, it's an interesting fight. And I, I want to get into it uh, because the odds aren't terrible on this. You can make a little bit of money on this. But uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight, showing you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Let's bring down the house together. Um, there's always a bull market somewhere. Uh, also, join the Patreon. The link is in the description. It's also in this uh, banner uh, below. Uh, join the Patreon. Just files a month. You get the lock of the week. You get... Ask the bookie anything. You get a ton of perks. Uh, break down, re request a fight. I'll break it down for you. Uh, you get a free t shirt. There's a ton of perks involved. Let me know what y'all think. Uh, join the Patreon. Files a month. Link is in the description. Also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All right. Uh, all proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right. Let's get into this fight. Luca Plantic. And Jack Cullen. This is a, a an intriguing fight uh, because I don't think Luca, who is not a bad looking prospect, he hasn't fought anyone, and I'm not saying I, I think Jack Cullen is is a killer or or anything like that because he's not. But it is still a pretty big step up for the 27 year old Luca Plantic, who is from Croatia. The fight's in Germany. Uh, you guys probably don't know Plantic. He's 7-0, 6 knockouts, 6 foot tall, super middleweight. It'll be for the WBC International Belt. It's an interesting fight. Uh, he's a, straight up and down. He commits to his shots. He, he doesn't have great power, but he commits to his shots, and power's okay. It's pretty good, I would say. It's not devastating or anything like that. Uh, he's not you know, a one-hitter quitter. Where he's just looking for one shot, but he, he commits to his shots. He throws hard. He's aggressive. He comes forward. He gets a little wild. He, you can tell he loves his power. And at the highest level, he's going to love his power too much. But Jack Cullen is not the highest level. He's, like I said, good, not, not great power. He's a bit slow and mechanical. He's not a great athlete. Typical, like, slow white guy issues. You know, he's not tremendously mobile. He's not agile. Uh, but he's not. He's a little robotic. When you see him, you'll know what I'm talking about. But he's got two-fisted power, you know, decent two-fisted power. He hits, he hits with both hands. He's a two-fisted fighter. He's a little stationary and, and straight in and out for my liking. Uh, but, but he throws combos. He, he's a combination puncher, you know, pretty good volume. He can switch hit. There's like a, And he's got two-fisted, you know, he's got pop in both hands. He can throw a array of shots. He's fun, you know. He's fundamentally been taught pretty well offensively. Defensively, he's just in a high guard. There's not much to him. He's straight in, straight out. A good boxer is going to have a field day with him. Jack Collins not a good boxer, and Plantic is strong. I mean, he's strong as an ox. Powerful, strong hooks on the inside. Really, really good hooks. And he likes to come forward. He can wear you down. You know, always. A late stoppage from this guy is always on the table. I just don't like how wild he is and, and how easy he is to hit. He's pretty easy to hit. He, he's in front of you, and he gets wild. When he gets wild, a good counter puncher can, can, can counter you. Um, Jack Cullen, on the other hand, 6'3", tall and long. He likes to fight at range. He's mostly got a jab. He throws a jab, throws a jab. That's really what it is. Uh, there's not much else to him. Slow and stationary. He can be pushed around, which I think is not a good thing for this fight. Uh, when he's fighting a guy physically strong like Plantic, it's just a, a it's a bad look for him. I, I think stylistically this is a bad fight for him, although he'll be able to find Plantic. Both guys are going to get hit a lot. Both guys have to have defensive problems. Uh, Jack Collins, not, not, a, not a big hitter, not a high volume guy. He wants to go backwards. He will be pushed backwards. He's easy and predictable. Like he's just jab, jab. There's no cadence issues. It's just, he's predictable. He's easy to hit. He leaves himself open. He's got a good snappy jab and he's tall and long. 
And yo, when he can score right hand, it's good. But he's he's easy to be found. He's predictable. I'm not a Jack Cullen guy. Uh, I think he loses this fight. Um, let's take a look at the odds. Let's see how we're gonna make money on this fight. Let's pull up this. Boom. All right. And of course, I'm looking at the wrong fight because I'm an idiot. Let me find this fight. There it is. Oh, they moved the odds on it. Oh, that's not great. It was at minus 300 when I checked yesterday. Now it's at minus 450. Wow. So $100 bet's only going to make us 22 bucks. That's a shame. Uh, they, they moved the odds on it, but that's what it is. Luca Plantic is going to win this fight. If you want to maybe throw that 22 22, the 20 bucks or so that you're going to make, uh, the winnings of whatever you make, however big your bet is, into Plantic by stoppage. I don't think that's bad. Let's see if they, they drop uh, props on this right now. They don't. DraftKings doesn't have it. I always use DraftKings. So they're giving us the money line, and we like Plantic on the money line. It's pretty safe, easy bet, e easy money here. Uh, I'm disappointed. I think it was minus 320 or three, something like that. Like minus 300, and they moved it. It's a shame. Uh, the, these, these odds are, are, are reasonable. I, I would take Plantic to win. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, I'm really bummed about that. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow the Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media. Uh, join the Patreon. The link is in the description. Uh, just file us a month. It gets you all the perks. You get the lock of the week. You ask the bookie anything. Ask me a handicap a fight. I'll make a video just for you. I can tell you how you make money in any fight. You get a free t-shirt. You get a ton of perks for just $5 a month. Also, join, uh, follow me, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. It is April 4th, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3 Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.